Now, Joe, do you see anything unusual with Bill at all, and, and is there any chance it would have an impact well, in our region? The unusual thing is the amount of rainfall they had before it. And a lot of people will sit there, oh, thank goodness it wasn't a hurricane. Well, yeah. the biggest threat's the inland yeah, flooding. flooding. And when everything is up so high and everything's so saturated, that's the issue. So here's the latest on Bill. A report just came in at the top of the hour. Winds down to 40 miles per hour. But the heavy rainfall, it's crossing I-10 now. Heavy rainfall is east of the center. Houston getting hit hard. Now, this storm system going to be drifting north northwesterly and the remnants are going to be moving toward the Dallas area and heavy rainfall to the east of there and and then it continues and it wraps around this upper air high pressure system over the southeast of the United States and it makes a turn and eventually some of that moisture is going to be coming our way and I talk more about that on wearecentralpa.com. Uh, uh, not every time a tropical system comes our way do we get a lot of rainfall but when it messes with a front then you can get some heavy rainfall. And this time around, that may happen as we head on into Saturday and Sunday. We'll cover that as time gets a little bit farther down the road. We have to get that system up into the west release and start moving our way first. Satellite and radar, our front did move through. It did bring some showers, a rumble of thunder in some spots. But then later in the day, we started to clear on out. How about these eye weather photos? Tim Garlic, Canoe Creek State Park, beautiful. The clouds were breaking toward the end of the day and a beautiful sunset. So thank you so much, Tim, for sending those in. And the thing that happened is the humidity lowered. The sky started to clear. It was very muggy yesterday. Dew point temperatures in the 70s. Now we're still in the 60s, getting close to the 50s in places. And tomorrow the humidity will keep on coming on down. Northwesterly flow, bringing some drier air. That wind should be pretty light for tonight. Temperatures, most of us are in the 60s, mid 60s up to the north. Some spots still near the 70 degree mark to the south and east, but it just doesn't have that muggy feel as it did this time yesterday. Jerry and Delancey, crystal clear sky, 66, 65 for Sioux and Hollandtown. Also clear for Roy and Wood in 64 degrees. So one front's through. We have nice weather coming our way, but the break's not going to last long. Look at this moisture coming back northward. This is not Bill, but this is still a plume of moisture that's been affecting us at times around this upper air ridge in the southeast of the United States. And this rainfall is going to be coming our way tomorrow night. So enjoy this little bit of a break while we get it. Tonight, mainly clear, low temperatures, 50s to near the 60 degree mark, definitely less humid than last night. There's a front stall to our south. Here comes the next disturbance. Tomorrow starts off with more sunshine than clouds, then more clouds and sunshine in the afternoon. A shower in some spots late tomorrow, showers and a rumble of thunder tomorrow night and even on Thursday. Another disturbance, scattered showers and thunderstorms. The humidity comes up. That's what's going to start to increase the chance of downpours. This front may move through. Dry us out briefly on Friday, but that's the front that eventually could mix with some moisture from Bill as we head into the upcoming weekend. Tomorrow, sunshine and clouds, scattered afternoon showers, mainly farther to the south and west. High temperatures in the 70s, so cooler than recent days. In the muggy tomorrow night, Probably uh, some showers and thunderstorms, some with heavier downpours on Thursday, a break on Friday. Then we get more showers and thunderstorms later Saturday into Sunday, depending on that moisture from Bill and how it interacts with the front. So we will be keeping an eye on that situation. And then warm early next week, a mix of clouds and sunshine, high temperatures in the 80s, but at least the threat of rainfall goes down a little bit.